Hey guys, you're watching DShack Tech, and today I'll be talking all about proxies and virtual private networks and how they can help you get past those pesky internet filters. So with that, let's get right into the video. So before I begin on my little backstory, um, I'm creating this video because at my school there is an internet filter that greatly limits my internet capabilities. I use the school's Wi-Fi because my service on my phone is absolutely deplorable there for some reason I really don't understand why. And on their Wi-Fi there is a filter. Um, I can't get onto YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, some Apple rumor blogs, and a whole list of other sites and it's really quite frustrating because I spend most of my day there and I want to get on the web like I usually do at home. And I needed a way to get around these pesky ridiculous filters and after some research here's what I came up with. So first off, some vocab and some definitions, a VPN or a virtual private network basically extends a private network and its resources across public networks. It can receive and send data across shared or public networks as if it were a private network itself. The second thing you need to know about um, are proxy servers. A proxy server, or proxy for short, is a server that acts as an intermediary for requests from clients seeking re resources from other servers. Uh, most proxies are used as content filters on the web, much like the filter I have in my school. So after all that, how can these things help help you get past these internet filter? Well, both a VPN and proxy can help bypass filters very easily. Um, the easiest one to use is the proxy on your iPhone. Now you might be wondering how the hell do I get a proxy on my iPhone or iPod Touch? Well, there are already applications in the App Store that do this for you for free and they actually work quite well. Um, the one I use is called Open Door. Um, it is free and acts just like a regular web browser um, like you would see on Safari and has the added benefit of bypassing any internet filter. It essentially turns the traditional filter proxy on its head by allowing you to use their fast and secure servers without any filters. It has great functionality and allows me to browse freely just as I want to at home at school. The other possibility that is a lot more high-end prof and professional is to use a VPN. By using a VPN, you can bypass any filter by simply using another network. Um, this is a for sure way to get around any filter that is being used at the time, but the major downside of a VPN is that it generally costs money to use. There are free apps in the App Store that allow you to access VPNs for users, but you still have to pay for it if you haven't signed up for it already. This is the more professional way for bypassing filters. I would only recommend that if you use this, if you know what you're doing and willing to spend the money. I'm not an expert in proxies or VPNs, um, but what I found in research on the internet is it actually seems quite easy to use. Again, I use Open Door, a free application to bypass content filters on the web. Um, I suggest you do look into it. Um, you really can't be disappointed too much. Um, well, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did like this video, check out my channel, DShack Tech, for more app reviews, product reviews, and OSN tutorials. And be sure to subscribe to me if I have an upload more in the future. Um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and like me on Facebook. Other than that, thanks for watching, and as always, see you guys next time. My favorite lens has to be the fish eye because it's the most unique lens of the three and really transforms your pictures. Um, I have had no problem with any of these lenses, and they all work perfectly, and they do just as described. The build quality of these lenses are amazing. They let you um, sort of clean out how much information shows in your main iTunes list, or your iTunes um, main window. Um, basically, see here, you see 